Hey Elevator and welcome back to this meditation practice where we'll be teaching you the Zazen meditation. When it comes to Zen, this is the baseline number one go-to meditation and it means just sit. It seems quite boring to the active mind who wants to breathe in for four and hold for four and exhale for eight and hold for four and more tasks and more to do. But this is what really breaks down all that overworking and overthinking of the mind and allows you to just be. This is one of the most basic meditations and at the same time it is one of the most advanced. This is one of the very first ones that I learned and at this point where I meditate and how I meditate, this is actually what I normally do. And I will tell you that if you get into this kind of meditation, if you're like, I, I'm into that, that's, that's the one that I really feel gives me the kind of benefits. Buy yourself one of these little cushions. Little cushions, you put it on your, on your butt and sit on it versus just sitting on the hard floor. A lot of meditators use these little uh, meditative cushions. They're amazing to use. So if you like this kind of meditation, which people typically s string out and do for an hour, two hours, four hours, can be, um, this is the kind of thing you're gonna wanna buy. This, so this method, it's hard to describe what to do because we are going to be just sitting. The pointer that I'm going to give you though is to breathe in and out only through your nose. Don't open your mouth. Some people actually will lick their lips beforehand, do a nice little pass of the tongue over the lips and hold it to seal in the practice is what it's called. Um, and then when you're done, you, you breathe normally, you can breathe out of your mouth however you wanna do it. Um, so we're gonna be sitting here with you today for four minutes um, and that, may seem like a short time, may seem like a long time, depending on where you're at. What I want you to do here is nothing, which is hard to do. So thoughts are going to come up. You're gonna start thinking about things. What should happen as you do this more often is that things come up less and less. That's sort of what we're looking for, even though anytime you add a goal into meditation, it's no longer meditation, it's no longer mindfulness. How can you watch a mind that's active like that, right? And so what we wanna be doing here is just simply doing as little as possible. That's not listening to the breath, that's not counting the breath, that's not making a visualization, that's not incorporating gratitude, it's just nothing. Not popping thought bubbles as they arise or watching the waves come in, nothing. Like I said, it's very basic, but at the same time, very advanced. Same way as in yoga, the last Shavasana pose is the most advanced pose because most people have trouble doing this. We're gonna be doing something complimentary on our yoga this month, which is gonna be yin yoga, which you're also gonna be sitting and doing nothing. The whole point of this is stillness. Surrender. It's to start giving your mind a reprieve to say, hey, it's really okay for us to relax. I know we're active. I know I need you sometimes during my life. I know when you, I need to recall a phone number. I need you to pop up. But when it's not that, sometimes we need to let it go. And so this meditation brings us back to who we really are instead of all the thoughts that are layered on top of that. So we're gonna sit here. Anything you wanna say before? Bye. Bye, okay, so four minutes, I'm gonna hit the timer. We're just gonna sit here and breathe with you. Do every single thing on your own. Don't listen the way I do it. Don't watch the way that Brit does it. We're just gonna be here so that you can follow along. I'm gonna hit a four minute timer now. Nice. And uh, go ahead and close your eyes down and just sit.
do you feel? Okay, so here's, here's, mm -hmm. here's what I want to ask. Did you notice that as your thoughts start to slow down, that your awareness level at the same time skyrockets? So normally the things that you tune out in life, like I could hear the wind that was blowing around, I could hear the building that we're in move as it settles into the earth, I could hear the water fountain that we have, I could hear all these different things. All of my senses came alive. Every single one of those things before we started doing this, I had tuned out. I'm only hearing either the thoughts that I'm having or I'm into the task that I'm about to do next so much that everything deadens. The point is how much of your mental activity is blocking out things that you need to hear. The other thing that I also had come up is different things about things that I'd done recently and how I could improve them. So it's different things that we'd recently done within the past couple of weeks and my mind just gave me that, hey, if you do this, it would improve what you were doing. So a lot of times we get so much insight just from being quiet. There was no technique, there was nothing happening. The only big thing that I do recommend is that if your body started giving you the signals of, oh, this hurts, oh, my back's cramping, oh, this is, work on your posture. You want to have good posture doing this. You want to be in alignment. You want to keep your spine straight if possible, ears over the shoulders if possible for you. You want to be sitting upright. Now I know you can get comfortable and relax a little bit, that's fine. But the point of this is to stay on that cusp where you're not asleep, where you are totally aware of literally everything all at once, except you don't have as many intrusive thoughts. Yeah, it was interesting. Uh, lunch came up for me, like physically. Like, <laughs> yeah. My stomach was like, like making all kinds of interesting noises as I allowed myself to relax. And yeah, that felt really good. It took me a long time to come back. Yeah, so these can bring really deep states. That's why people do them for a long time. You know, that's, that's why they do them for two or three hours. Some of the insights that you get, especially if you, if you really want to be advanced doing this, if you'll do these kind of meditations as you fast, so if you'll spend a day out of the week not eating or maybe three days not eating every month or two months and you'll do these kinds of meditation without the food that your body would normally process, without the energy being spent on that, instead what will happen is you'll turn inward. And a lot of things that you didn't have answers for, a lot of things that you've been working on but haven't found a solution, those will be right there on the tip of your tongue. That's why so many cultures and older religions use this as a way to connect spiritually. Because when you get rid of the idea of the physical body, there's only that soul or spirit left. And allowing ourselves to be quiet lets that soul really emerge. Mm, I'm, I'm good with being quiet. Boom. Well, <laughs> so we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. peace.